Before this video starts guys, if you haven't done so already, make sure to join our Discord server which you'll find a link to down in the description below. We'll be hosting a lot of paid executor giveaways including paid scripts on our Discord server so make sure you join. Of course if you do have any questions and you'd like to speak to me privately, you can also do that on our Discord server. Now let's get back into the video. Hey what's going on guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video we'll be looking at a script for Phantom Forces. Now Phantom Forces is one of those games that I've played for a very long time, so I've pretty much experimented with all of the available scripts for this game and this script that I'm about to showcase to you is one of the best scripts out there. Now of course you will need an executor to use this script, if you don't already have an executor you can check out my executor playlist which I will leave a link to down in the description below. So once you do have your executor ready and you have injected it into the game, you will be able to use the script that I will provide a link to down in the description. Once you do have the script, you simply want to execute the script and you will get the UI. It will take maybe around 2-3 seconds and it will load onto your screen just like this. Now there are many different options within this executor, or sorry within this script which I will go through. So of course you have the legit bot. Now if you do want to have an account that you want to level up and you want to use as your main account without a risk of a ban, this is the section that I would recommend to you. I would not recommend rage bot. Now I will show you the difference between both of them. First we'll go through the legit bot and I will show you some gameplay on that and then we'll move on to rage bot. So of course legit bot is basically it simply just moves your mouse and it locks onto the enemy. It's not detected at all I have used it for a very long time and of course these are the settings that I would normally use. I will also show you my own personal config which I use so you can copy my exact settings and I haven't personally been kicked with the legit settings that I use and of course they are still very very OP. So with the aimbot of course we want to go for the head and also the torso. You can also check the other ones if you wish to but i would not recommend using head only because then in the kill feed it will show that you have pretty much every single kill coming from a headshot and that is one of the easiest ways to identify a cheater again you also have silent aim now i would not recommend silent aim simply because it's one of those things that as long as the player is within your fov so your field of vision which is right here um the bullets will hit that player it doesn't matter if you're aiming at them or whatever you're doing i would not recommend this just because it is it is more uh, on the risky side so if you do not want to risk your account i would not recommend this now target priority i would recommend leaving this to default you can change it to closest player but that does come with a risk of if there are two people in front of you and one of them is not aiming you know directly at yourself but they um you know they're looking in a different direction and the other player behind them is aiming at you then of course you want to take out the player that is looking at you first but if you do change it to this then it won't unfortunately do that it will try locking onto the player that is closest to you so if you do have good aim i would personally recommend closest to crosshair so it simply just locks onto any player that is within your field of vision uh, that is closest to the crosshair target priority again i would just leave it to clo um, closest to crosshair and hitbox priority i would leave it to default as well now wall check i would recommend turning this on and if you do turn on um of course penetration or visible only now it's completely up to you which one you want to do again this side goes for the silent aim and this uh, left side is for normal uh, aimbot okay so um, again i will check on the wall check and i will change it to visual uh, or visible only and the difference between the two is if you leave it to penetration it simply checks if the wall that the enemy is behind uh, it scans that wall and it checks if you can penetrate through that wall and shoot the enemy if you can do that then it will simply lock onto that enemy even if the enemy is not directly visible within your field of vision uh, of course that is not recommended because the player might think that you're cheating because you're simply wall banging them so i would leave it to visible only you there is uh, it's completely up to you what you wish to do but this is more on the legit side uh show foe this is you know just use a preference if you want to just view your foe and see how much of a radius you have when it comes to aimbot you can leave this on um, or you can turn it off it does not matter at all now that uh, then um, dynamic foe what that does is it expands your foe when you do scope in uh, or it might be the other way around so you can simply check that if you do wish to i do normally recommend having it on uh, because it does make the aimbot a little bit more broken 
um this just smoothing and reaction time target switch delay this is completely up to you i normally just leave it to default um target switch de delay is simply the amount of time it takes before switching to another target once you have killed one of the targets uh, as long as both of those targets are within your field of view again i don't really um change any of these for myself trigger bot this simply just shoots the enemy uh, as long as they are within your field of vision and you've got the shoot delay over here so you don't even have to shoot for yourself it will start shooting them um, as long as they're within your field of vision again i don't really use that um, when it comes to uh, the actual predictions i do like to have both of these on with 100 percent prediction rate now when it comes to aimbot if you do not set any key for the aimbot it will always be toggled on so as long as the enemy is you know visible you will be able to lock onto that enemy and shoot at them um personally i do like that feature just because if i want to go for like a quick scope or uh, a no scope with a sniper uh, i can simply do that and i don't have to aim down the site but if you do wish to aim down the site then you can just click over here and just set it to your right mouse button so you can just click and choose your right mouse button uh, if you do want to get rid of it just click and click backspace and that will get rid of the key bind for you now ragebot i will move on to this in a little while visuals again you want to turn on esp then you have the option of visible only so as long as they are visible to you it will show you them um as a as an esp kind of player uh, i personally don't recommend this just because that's you know on the really legit side if you do want to be extremely legit then you can turn that on um but i personally don't use it this just simply highlights the player um this shows movement and the camera movement um you, you do have a lot of different uh, options when it comes to visuals I, I also like to have this on for myself now let's go over to misc um again within misc there are many different options that you can explore anti-aim you've got um so for example if you turn on auto hop on vault kick as long as someone initiates a vault kick on you uh, it will automatically leave the server and it will join another server um if i do turn this on the risk is that you know even if you don't get vault kicked um as long as there aren't you know enough vaults you will still be leaving the server so i don't personally like to leave this on auto um deploy that simply just redeploys for you um or auto despawn sorry and then you have auto deploy auto spot which i like to have on auto vault so every time there is a little vault initiated you can automatically vote uh, i normally have <laughs> have it set to no um kill say um so if you want to say something in chat every time you get a kill you can simply do that as well so at victim is basically the placeholder for the actual player that you've killed and then the message goes afterwards movement fly uh, no full damage i personally like to use this auto equip auto or instant reload and instant equip i like to also use that gun spread i normally like to have these both really low um and yeah so that's pretty much all the things i like to do over here also camera recoil i like to turn that down as well here are a list of names so you can pretty much spectate a player ignore the player prioritize which i think highlights them within your esp and you can also vote kick them i'm not currently level 25 which you need to be able to vote kick now let's go into settings this is where you can save your config so enter a name you can click create and then you can load that config each time the key bind to um, change or open the menu open and close can be set right here by default it is right shift now i'm going to go ahead and load up my main config and you can see the difference okay so this is pretty much what i like to use uh, when it does come to my main config again i don't use silent aim um, these are my settings when it comes to the actual aimbot uh rage i don't use that visuals these are the visuals that i like to use for myself um skins i don't use anything within this but you can customize your gun skin this is done locally so other players will not be able to see that these are my settings for misc uh, and of course these are my settings or my config settings right here now let's jump into the game and actually look at the script okay so we've done a lot of talking now let's see the script in action so i'm currently using a sniper 
um which i guess is ideal for this map um so let's go ahead and redeploy over here so again the aimbot i'm using is legit aimbot okay and you can see that i'm not scoping in and it is still locking onto the enemy as long as they're in my field of vision right there uh, so i can change this i can turn this back off if i do wish to by simply coming over here and changing the keybind to right mouse button and that will only aim down the site when i do press my right uh, mouse button but i don't normally like to do that just because i like the fact that it does uh, aim down the site without me actually needing to do anything oh sorry it does lock on without me having to right click okay so let's go ahead and switch the weapon we're, we're pretty much done messing around so let's go ahead and get some kills now he did throw a nade right there and you can see the instant reload in action as well so here we go and it's instantly reloading which is really op and extremely helpful as well let's go ahead and try out the shotgun that <laughs> didn't go as planned um all right so let's jump back into the game again and again, I will show you the Rage Bot as well. Um, the Sniper is actually really broken. I'm not, uh, of course, this is my first game on for today. So it's not, <laughs> it's not the best demonstration. But the Aimbot is actually really, really uh, OP for being able to quick scope. Even if you're using the legit Aimbot, it will work flawlessly. Um, I might add a few clips next time I do make a script on Phantom Forces. I have done that in the past. Um, but for now, I'm just pretty much doing a live recording and a live gameplay at the same time so here we go i do feel like there's a couple of cheaters in this lobby um i'm not really gonna say there definitely are but i do feel like they might be i've noticed that uh, a lot of phantom forces uh, lobbies are filled with cheaters now i guess that there might be because there's a lot of scripts available and a lot of um, people showcasing scripts uh, or it might simply just be that i no longer am good at the game so who knows um all right so here we go so currently eight for six which isn't the best at all uh it definitely isn't yeah, i think that there the definitely is a cheater that guy too good to moan yeah i think he's cheating um yeah he definitely might be cheating because i'm just looking at his kill feed right now and someone is also calling him out for hacks yeah <laughs> i think the guy that keeps killing me might actually be cheating there he is we've got a kill on him which is good um all right let's carry on for a little bit and then we'll switch to the rage bot which is extremely extremely broken so there we go there we go slowly moving forward double jump get that kill and this guy is the cheater so of course we're gonna die to him <laughs> um and okay so after I die one more time, I will switch over to the Rage Bot and show you that in action. I'm completely on the open. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and switch over to the Rage Bot. So I'll turn on Aimbot, or I'll turn off the actual Aimbot and turn on Rage Bot and I'll turn on Scanning as well. Instant kill um, and also switching to a Sniper. So you, you can see this in action right now. I don't even have to shoot, it just simply kills them. Uh, again, this is risky because you can get well kicked on this, of course, but uh, it is something that you can do uh, if you if you don't really care about getting banned on the account or well kicked. Um, and there we go. Someone has initiated a well kick. We will get well kicked, unfortunately, but that was pretty much the script. Uh, hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, guys, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel. And as always, thanks for watching.